Greetings Earthlings and welcome again back to the Earth, our mud fossil Gaia. Ever wonder why Iran's symbol is a griffin? Well, I think I know why. What we're looking at here is a raised relief map of Iran. And if you can't see it already, they give you a pretty good outline as it is. Here's the beak. Okay. And there he is. The Iranian griffin. Or should we say Tartarian? Being that Iran used to be Tartaria and their symbol also is a griffin. So let's go have a closer look at Google Earth. Here he is. This is Iran. We'll start here up on the eye. And what's really cool here, I'm going to show you real quick, right in the middle of the eye of the griffin. is the holy shrine. Right there in the middle of the eye. That's cool. Alright, so let's look at some griffin. These feathers up in here I think are some of the best detailed features. Griffin feathers. Look at them colors. We have some mountain ranges over here in North America that look just like this, too. And we've been looking at them thinking maybe they were dragon scales. But if this is a bird, maybe they're feathers. Being that America's symbol is also a bird, maybe there's another bird over there. And this guy actually has a meal in his grip. And I think it's a hippocampus. You can see him pretty good on the topographic maps too. So this, this area here is a pool of blood from trauma up in here, probably the talons of the griffin, and this is the nose. Okay. Hippocampus. And this is just a baby. 
why I say this is a baby. I'm going to have to show you in another video of its own. But this is definitely a hippocampus. Here's his eye. And they have this beautiful rainbow like scaling, fish type scaling. Really pretty. Just wait till you see his papa. You've heard of the Rainbow Mountains in China, right? So, there we go. The Iranian griffin with a meal.